Garbage! Mm. Garbage! Oh, hello my Fumble family, and welcome back to the Caden Fumblebottom YouTube channel. My name is Caden Fumblebottom, and I am reviewing a stack of hats right here. But you know what's more fun than reviewing a stack of real life hats? Reviewing a bunch of Roblox hats. So today I'm going to be going into Roblox and reviewing some of the most infamous and famous Roblox myth hats of all time. Some of these belong to myths that no longer exist. Some of these belong to myths that have been solved. Some of these belong to myths that I have never investigated. All in all, all of these accessories belong to myths and have become known for that reason. So without further ado, my Fumble family, let's get to rating some hats. Okay, first up we have the Mime, which uh, I don't even remember the name of the that kind of started the trend of wearing mime masks, but there are a few out there. There are the mime twins who go around and they're very interesting characters. They partake in things on the circus in the sky and stuff like that. And then there was another person whose name was like Cry666 or something like that. They were an early myth from back in the day. And they wore this mask. Since that point on, people have been wearing it and disturbingly so. The description says, it's a mime, destroy it. And I completely agree with that statement. No offense against real mimes, you're very cool and talented. But this mime is terrifying. Uh, but that's kind of what it's supposed to be, right? It's a myth hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a... Oh no, I just hit my entire set. <laughs> oh god. Uh, 9 out of 10. Because it's it's really cool. I personally wouldn't put it on my myth. But I do think it's a really, really good hat for Roblox Smiths. Not to mention just a cool, creepy looking hat in general. So mime, you get the slap of approval. Which happens to be the Sinister Zombie. This hat was very much popularized by Chuck Lloyd and Albert's video series and Speedies as well. So like people, I don't know. All in all, um, I hate it. I absolutely despise it. Uh, the, the butt chin is cute. Uh, everything else, I want to blend it up in a blender and dump it into the ocean. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a 1 out of 10. Congratulations, Chuck. You did it. You get the pass of approval. No Chuck. No slap for you. Next up, we have the Silver Mask of the Boy King, a mask popularized by the Saint Das Tribe myth. A very, very cool myth with a lot of work put into it. The description says, Like all boys, the king wanted to play and make friends. Like all kings, he was unable to tell if his friends were genuine. So he had this silver mask created by the finest silversmith in the kingdom to hide his true identity. Silly boy king. No regular kid has a silver mask. Oh no. That's kind of terrifying. He just ran around wearing this? A little boy? Well, that's pretty scary. And uh, given that the mask is genuinely terrifying, popularized by a myth that has a genuinely terrifying theme, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10. Congratulations, Silver Mask of the Boy King. You get the slap of approval. Here we have the Paper Plate Bunny, a very, very popular Roblox myth hat that was popularized by Caroline and Clinton back in like 2012 or something. This is one of the earliest actually known Roblox myth hats. When you think of Roblox myth hats, it was like this and clown stuff. That's like what Roblox myth hats were before the UGC was created and people were able to make their own stuff and stuff like that. But all that being said, it's a pretty basic hat with a lot of memories behind it. Therefore, I very much like it. The description reads, you made it at a summer camp. You keep it around because it scares your little sister. And, uh, well, I mean, scare is literally in the description. I think it fits on a myth. That all being said, the fact that this is such a classic hat and has so much history behind it makes me want to give this one an automatic slap of approval, but not before I rate it a 10 out of 10. Or no, wait, a 20 out of 10 because it's so dang good. Congratulations, paper plate bunny. You get the slab of approval. Here we have a Roman Gladiator Helmet, a hat popularized by David Colt of the Colt family, possibly one of my favorite members of the Colt family. And the description says something that I don't even know what that means. They victus? What does that mean? I don't know. Let's look it up. It says, Woe to the vanquished. Ah! That's disturbing. So thanks, uh, Google, for shedding some light on that disturbing description. Uh, that being said, this hat's talking to dead people. That's a pretty good myth hat, I would say. Uh, I genuinely think this is a well-made hat, too. It's actually scary. Why is there rust, like, coming out of his eyeballs? This is just disturbing. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a solid... 12 out of 10, because it's two points better than the best. <laughs> Slap of approval. Here we have Tragedy, a mask popularized by Lizus. I think it's Tragedy, not Comedy, right? Because Comedy was also pretty popular for myths. Lizus is one of the earliest Roblox myths. I think they were made in like 2011 or so. Uh, I very much enjoyed investigating them back in the day. And I love the legacy that I've left behind and inspired so many other people to become myths since then. The description is QQ, which is pretty funny. All in all, this mask is pretty basic. Uh, there's not much to it, but there doesn't need to be. It's a myth, and it, and it really gets the point across. So I'm going to go ahead and give this, the Tragedy Mask, a solid 
8 out of 10. Because it's really cool, it's amazing, it's not super detailed, but it does the job right. Slap of approval for you, Tragedy. Please don't cry after this. Next up, we have possibly my favorite on this list, or maybe absolutely my favorite on this list. I'm one of the creators of it. This is called the Myth Hunter's Mask by Polar Cub underscore art, and also myself. The original design uh, is actually modeled after the Roblox and Myth Hunters logo, which happens to be a group that I made back in the day with some of my friends, and it is now one of the largest myth groups of all time. Yay, thanks, guys. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, we sort of started up the myth community upon making that group and so we decided to make a hat to commemorate that all now plenty of myths wear this plenty of myth hunters wear this and plenty of people around the myth community also wear this it says in the description for myths and myth hunters alike model after the logo of the robloxian myth hunters the first of many major groups in the myth community wow who made that description i wonder da -da 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 -da. i give this a thousand out of ten thanks Slap for <laughs> next up we have the black aesthetical glasses you may be confusing these for harry potter's glasses but i assure you these are gary's glasses it had popularized by the hollow billion gary aka shrewd librarian himself now i happen to find this to be a very very cute hat it was made by who to trust a very very skilled roblox ugc creator and it fits on gary just so well all in all i would wear these in real life they're really really cute i'm gonna go ahead and give these a solid 10 out of 10 for fashionable cuteness Slap of approval. Here we have eye poppers. Oh boy, I was looking forward to these. <laughs> Description says, say what? And it, it just says that, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, all in all, this is kind of a comedy hat, but it was popularized by the myth Taupea. The Taupeas wear this as part of their interesting and unique designs. In case you aren't aware of what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is Taupea. Aren't they beautiful? That all being said, eye poppers. Not your usual myth hat, but looking real dang good on the right myths. So I'm gonna go ahead and give eye poppers a solid 7 out of 10, because not many myths can pull this off, but the ones who do certainly do it well. Now slap of approval for you. We have a red beret, which was made by Dysoft and popularized by Monochromic Matt, aka Guy from Hollowville, a very fantastic Roblox myth that I happen to think is amazing. Now, I think this is a very cute hat, a very solid hat. I don't think too many Roblox myths are rocking it. In fact, I think only one that I'm aware of is rocking it, but I want to include it because I love them. The description says, a simple red, impossibly French bread. At least it doesn't say baguette, because that would make it bread. And since this hat is not bread, but it is red, it very much fits the theme of guy who wears it. Therefore, I'm going to give this hat a solid 9 out of 10. Congratulations, a fantastic hat. Not too many people would wear it, otherwise I would have gave it a 10, but I love it, so I'm giving it a 9. Slap of approval for you, Red Barret. <laughs> I mean, Barret. Here we have the horned Velociraptor skull, something ripped straight off of Dinosaur's head. Yay. <sighs> if that isn't creepy enough, the description may be. Horned Velociraptors are exceedingly rare. This skull probably belongs in a museum, rather than on your head, implying that this skull is being worn on human heads. And is, in fact, from a dead body. So, Horned Velociraptor Skull, popularized by Fod Loka. What am I gonna rate you? On account of you are literally a skull, ripped off of a dead body, and put on someone's head, I think you're pretty creepy. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a solid... Dun, 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 22 out of 10, because you're just so dang creepy, but also kind of cute. Slap of approval for you. Next up, we have Bozo the Clown, and I'm sure a lot of you were waiting for this one. This is a huge Roblox myth hat, possibly the biggest of all time. I'm not sure. There may be more clown myths than any other myth. I don't really know. It's a very interactive community. That being said, Bozo the Clown is, in fact, the hair piece that Gaz wears on himself, and plenty of other Roblox clowns do as well, and Yucko, Snoots, Zuzi, etc, etc. That all being said, this hat is legendary. I mean, this inspired so many different people, so many different myths, and etc, etc. Some people see this as infamous, I see this as famous in a good way. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate Bozo the Clown as a solid... Oh wait, maybe I should read the description first before I rate that. Kaden, this hat doesn't seem super mythy. Yeah, Kaden, it's just the clown. They don't necessarily have to be a myth. Oh, okay, let me read the description. Don't look in his trunk. Don't look in his trunk. Did you catch that? This hat implies that you're hiding a body in your trunk. Going off of the history of this hat, the description of this hat, and the look of this hat, I am going to slap this one with a rating of infinity out of 10. Congratulations, Bozo the Clown. You did it. Slap approval. In fact, 
Backhand of approval. Right, we have graffiti cap, something no other myth other than Joey would wear from Hollow Bill, uh, aka Dottie Banker. It says better on the cap than on the wall. All right. Cool. <laughs> I think Joey absolutely rocks it. As far as Joey goes, I think their look is a 10 out of 10. Anybody else to wear this? I think I would give you a solid, hmm, 3 out of 10. Congratulations, graffiti cap. You get the pity slap of approval. <laughs> Next up, we have the Doctor's Reflector, also popularized by Gaz, also popularized by a Doctor's Tale. A few other Roblox Doctor myths out there exist, and they're very, very interesting. This one says, Doctors use these to reflect light on their patients after flashlights were invented. They continue to wear them because they look cool. That's an actual factual description, and that's pretty cool. Uh, it looks realistic. It's got, like, a real feeling behind it, which is a bit surreal for a Roblox item. All in all, I'm gonna give this a solid 10 out of 10. Because I think this is a fantastic accessory to wear if you are a myth. Doctors do happen to creep me out. Maybe that's why I think it's so creepy. Either way, slap of approval. Oh, a little too hard there. Sorry, you might need to see the doctor after that one. <laughs> Up next, we have a hat known as Core Blocks Collar, a hat popularized by Morghini, the pasta Italian sounding myth. A myth that I very much like. I very much like the story and the games that they have made and all of the help that they have provided for other myths in the community. Now this all being said, this is a solid hat. It is a little creepy. The description says, keep your enemies close and your magical crystal collar closer. That does kind of radiate mystery. That's a pretty mysterious description. It looks pretty scary when I wear it on my avatar on account of it stabs through my eyeballs. That's an extra scary point for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this item, the core blocks collar, a solid 10 out of 10. Congratulations, Morgan. Your collar is still on fleek. Slap of approval. <laughs> Last but certainly not weast. 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 Last but certainly not weast. We have the Spaceship Bucket Hat, which has been popularized by Larry, the Hollowville Mentor. And I think it's a wonderful hat. If you look in the little, like, details of this hat, it's actually really cute. It's got little moons in it. I didn't even know that. It's literally like wearing a UFO on your head. That's adorable. Larry's pretty much always being abducted now that I think of it. They just can't pull them through because their head is just too big to get into the spaceship. That all being said, the description is, I'm waiting for my spaceship to come back to me. Which is a sad and scary kind of description for a hat. Kind of gives me an obscure feeling, like a an eerie feeling of, of dark loneliness that I don't normally get from Roblox hats. Therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a solid 10 out of 10. Congratulations, spaceship bucket hat. You've officially scared me and made me feel lonely in this giant expanding universe. Thanks! Slap of approval. Okay, my fumble family, that was officially all of the Roblox myth hats that I have pulled up for today. If you agree with my ratings, please let me know by liking this video, subbing if you haven't already, and turning on your notifications because that does help me out a whole butt ton. And until next time, my fumble family, thank you for watching and hat slap.